afternoon everyone. This is Jenny Han and today I'm gonna present about the one of the musicians, Hanna Zhang. And she I guess you guys only know about her because she is very popular and famous. But she is very famous as a talent, but also I know that she's very great conductor. And also you guys are like I guess you know about Murupak Dosa? It was one of the really popular TV program, but I didn't watch it these days, so I guess it only finished at that. But also she was shown on that TV program as well. Anyway, I'm going to start this. So who is Hanna Chang? I thought that it was J, but she used the CH. That's why I just yeah, only write that way. When she was young, uh, she was born in Suwon, Gyeonggi-do, on December 23rd, <laughs> 1982. And she started to learn the piano when she was three. Uh, but it's in an asteroid. In Korean, when she was four, she started to learn the violin, a piano. Mm -hmm. And when she was six years old, she started to learn cello. Uh, and she's... Uh, and and when she started to play the piano, she said that uh, she wants to like uh, step on the pedal of the piano, but she couldn't do that because uh. she has a little bit short. <laughs> because she was a little young at the time, and she couldn't carry on that piano. Yeah. That's why she thought that piano is not her musical instrument. So, <laughs> but anyway, that's why I guess one of the reasons why she chose the cello as her musical instrument. And. Ah, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Actually, she, when she was like in 1992, she got, uh, she won, she won a prize in the piano competition in Korea. But after a year, after a year, her family moved to the U.S. Oh. and she entered the pre-college division of the Julia School as a special scholarship. And in 1993, I guess I should change the picture, but I couldn't do that, so I'm so, so sorry for about that. But she competed, uh, she opened the Misha Maisky. He He's going to be uh, one of the mentor, and he she attended the master classes in Sinea, Italy, um, and continued study with him privately. And, but, when I search about him, about Misha Maisky, he also famous cellist, mm -hmm. but at the time he couldn't teach her well, uh, not well, she didn't teach her, but after she met the Lustropovich, <laughs> he was one of the, her mentors. Yeah. After that, anyway, Misha Maisky and Lustropovich had a flip, they were pretty close, so after she met the Lustropovich, uh, he's Lustropovich. Mm -hmm. After she met him, and after that, she Misha Maisky became her mentor. Anyway, um, she said that this. Yeah, actually, I don't know about classical music well, but Lustropovich is the one of the great cellist mm -hmm. in the world. So, and he always supports her mentally. Mm -hmm. And. And she went to the, she was awarded the first prize as well as the contemporary musical prize and about the fifth Lost Robot in the in the Lost Robot Cello Competition. So anyway, at that time he said that he was very surprised because he thought that Han, she was very young, so mm -hmm. only she can sort only cello. So he thought that cello was like a, <laughs> it just came out on the stage alone. <laughs> so, but anyway, in that competition, he noticed about her talent about of the cello. So he started to teach her from that time. So next, her mentor is Misha Maisky, who I already told you guys. And he was really close with the Lostropovich. Actually, he's a little younger than Lostropovich, and he let Lostropovich's case, he already passed away. Uh, he, he used to study in 
in the in Russia and also about in the the Nishamaisky was studied in in this in the Russian at the time he met the Rostropovich. So he know about him well. So and Hanna Chan, she had a debut after she had a debut, and then he met her and he became her mentor. Okay. And this is the whole album, I guess. And I have the, this album as well. Oh. And I remember that when I heard about the whole music first time, at the time it was. Uh, I don't know how can I call that place, but anyway, the place they sell the C, like musical CD, classical music CD, and I just heard about some music, and at the time I didn't know about classical music at all, but I feel like the song was really good, so I I just check out the, her name, Han Na Zhang. I just check out her name, and after that I bought that CD, and I didn't bought it at the time, but anyway. It was, I guess, she was the first person I was interested in. She made me to interest in about the classical music, mm. but it doesn't mean that I know about the classical music. <laughs> 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 and, <laughs> anyway, she made a pretty good uh, as a table list. She has a, she developed her international career. Mm. Because she has really good mentor, as I told you guys, Nisha, Nisha Marski and the Rostropovich. They are, I can say, um, they are pretty good mentor to her, and they are pretty famous in that field. So she got, as time went by, she became a great cellist. This is also her album, and the surprise, the one of the surprise things was that uh, I saw that she started, she went to college, I know that, but I saw that she started about the cello, and also now she is conductor, so I saw that she, maybe she might be, maybe she started about the conducting or cello, but she chose uh, philosophy as her major mm -hmm. and she started philosophy at Hogwarts wow. and it was in 2001 but as when I check out the whole like profile picture at the time there she is taking uh, taking that year off and I'm not sure but she didn't graduate Hogwarts right now but anyway she started there and she started the, the philosophy and, and this is the one of the last one. Like, I guess I there is no out of time, so I guess I just want you to guys watch about the, this part. But can you help me? Okay.
work with you, but <laughs> there's no time. Mm -hmm. But in 2006, she was allocated one of the 20 classic superstars for tomorrow on the, one of the magazines when she was dealing with the classical music in the UK. She was the, one of the 20 classical music superstars at the time. But after uh, after one year, like since 2007, she debuted as a conductor at Songnam Art Center in Korea. Mm -hmm. And I was very wondering that because I love her terrible, so and I can feel that when I heard, when I heard, listen to her music, I can feel that she loves her cello. But why did she choose the as a conductor? Or why did she start the the conducting? So I searched about it, and she said that since 2007, she has been focusing about the conducting. And she said that many masters such as the Rostropovich and Misha Maisky taught her musical skill and give back, give her love with the law and they and for nothing. They didn't ask her to give them something, mm -hmm. but they just taught her and they just gave her love. And they just saw her musical talent. And she wanted that the law give back to the other children. So I heard in the like the news title, I saw that she uh, donates lots of money to the children who wants to learn about the music. Mm -hmm. And also and she wanted the love to give back to other children. So for that, she needed the big orchestra to solve that. Because orchestra is the big, because it's the combination of all musical instruments. And this is the more good way to spread the love. <laughs> so that's why she said that she chose the conducting instead of the small cello. Mm -hmm. But I guess her small cello is also a really good way to give back the love. But anyway, it's her choice. Mm -hmm. and, and actually, there is some more uh, video, but I guess it's mm -hmm. really out of time. So, but anyway, if you guys want to visit the YouTube in this channel, you can see that her like music as a conductor. And so, as for career as a talent, she is now dedicating all of her time for on the podium.